You know how fast you were going? What? How fast you were going? I don't know. Ten? Eight. Be advised, this is an explicit podcast. If you're easily offended, get your panties twisted into a knot. Leave now. Run in your safe space. Get your little cloth for your tears. All the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the host and his guest and do not reflect the opinions of any local or government agency. Welcome to another episode of Motor Cop Chronicles Podcast. I'm your host, is normal, uh, Dice Man. Coming to you day late as usual, but starting to get to be an unhealthy habit, I guess. It's actually uh, 10 o'clock p.m. here, uh, Monday night, so I'll be releasing this whenever I put it out. Uh, but I'm going to put something out uh, for the listeners that always know I put something out. Y'all remember to like and subscribe. Uh, Facebook, YouTube, hit the little bells and stuff like that. Write a review. On, you can review it on Facebook also. I uh, always forget to mention it. Uh, we do have the Motor Cop Clubhouse private group. Uh, you can go apply to be in it. I'll, I'll review it and I haven't denied anybody yet, so there's a couple of questions asking. Always, you know, people can post in there. You can post in there. I post uh, stuff I don't put out for the general public in there, so uh, if that's something you'd be interested in, go uh, go join the clubhouse. And, uh, oh, next, uh, of course, you know, Wednesday we'll be doing midweek news. Uh, try to, I'll have something to put out Sunday. I don't know if it'll be a guest or what. And like I said, Said a hundred times before, the hardest thing is getting guests. Uh, I'm not bitching or complaining. It's just one of the difficult things about doing this podcast for me. You uh, know, I'll mention it again Wednesday. Uh, the following week, I'm going to be out of town in uh, Mississippi for a motorcycle competition. I'm going to do my best over the weekend to record some stuff to have it pre scheduled to come out. So hopefully, I'll have, have stuff come out. Uh, Midweek news will not be live for anybody who listens to that live. Uh, and uh, I think I probably I got enough stuff to do with another Louisiana crime, but it won't be live either. So enough rambling. Let's get on a couple of these little stories. Uh, oh, I'm just say this. I don't think they listen to nothing, which I really don't care. But I made a, uh, a comment on a law enforcement website on uh, this. Uh, it's like. They asked a question or something, put down uh, some of the funniest stories you have, and I made a comment on there about somebody put a comment, I wrote something about the story, and I said that would be a great story for my podcast. And I'm not sure who does. Is it another, is it another podcast or YouTube? I'm not sure. I don't remember. Uh, said, yeah, I can see it must be get, could get pretty boring, I guess, just talking about crashes and traffic tickets. And I was like, hmm, yeah. Maybe so. Maybe some people do find it boring. There's not, uh, maybe whatever this person talks about, which I haven't listened to their stuff. Don't plan on it. Uh, maybe your stuff can be pretty boring, too. Not everybody wants to hear about serious stuff all the time. So people like that can go fuck themselves. But anyway, let's get on to a few little stories. Uh, this happened back in May. Uh, I was I was on regular patrol riding my bike, uh, just driving around patrolling. It was a nice, pretty day. Pretty sure I had some music probably going in my Bluetooth headset, it's built into the helmet. Just enjoying the ride. I saw this truck backing out of uh, a driveway, a cattle field, something like that. I'm like, I'm sure, surely you know he's not gonna back out in front of me because besides we got, I got the two spotlights headlight and I got the two uh, moto lights that are bright white also on there so it's a lot of light coming up front well 
He did. Backed right out in front of me. Uh, I didn't have to. I had to break way harder than I prefer to break. I was able just to go around him. Uh, I didn't feel like my life was in danger or nothing because I was watching him. But it, it was it was way closer than what he should have backed out. I should not have to, you know, if I wouldn't been paying attention for him, somebody texting and driving that slammed into him. I went around him. But no, I didn't stop and pull him over or anything because as I went around him, with the, my little braking maneuver thing, uh, I could see he was in his truck by himself with a mask on his face. So I figured uh, me pulling him over and writing him a ticket or chewing him out or having a talk with him, however it would end up, it would probably end up with me chewing him out, would have done no good because he's so smart He's driving around in his own vehicle by himself with a mask on. So, the lack thereof, I didn't wasn't gonna bother wasting my time with that conversation. So, uh, just <laughs> fuck it and just kept rolling. Later this day, I pulled over a, a U-Haul truck, uh, pulling a pulling an older model Capri, probably a nineties. Mid nineties model Capri, one the big one, the big land yachts. I don't know if y'all remember, or the older people I some probably remember. I mean, I'm talking. This was this was this was like a, a tank. It was just it's, it was a big Caprice. Uh, he pulling it. He was pulling it on a trailer. Excuse me. Everything had uh, New Jersey plates on it. The U-Haul. The uh, car they were pulling on a trailer and all that stuff like that. No, they were doing 74 and 60, uh, as I was, uh, as I was getting out of the vehicle, I noticed they, uh, had a car pull up behind me. Had New Jersey plates also. So I'm assuming, I was assuming at that time, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna freak out because I'm pretty sure they're probably just traveling together, but I didn't pull my gun out and point it at her, but I didn't make her, it was a female I could see inside the vehicle, I made her pull out, and she pulled over in front of the vehicle, a little bit, not as far as I'd liked up, but just out of the way. Uh, FYI, people, uh, public service announcement, however you want to put it, uh, if you're traveling, a pack, or you know, following your husband, or following your wife, or something, and they happen to get pulled over. I think I've said this before. If they happen to get pulled over, don't pull up behind the cop. Don't pull over directly in front of the vehicle. I just get pulled over. Pull over about half a mile up the road and wait. Okay. Especially nowadays. I don't want to be by. I don't know. I know no other cop wants to be boxed in. We don't know. We. I mean, gal could be the best people in the world. We don't know that. I don't know what I'm walking up on. So, just just have just have a little common sense when it comes to that. Anyway, it was his wife, wife or girlfriend. I, I don't I don't remember what what he had. I uh, had him I had him call and tell her just looks just stay where she's at. You know, come back here. Blah blah blah. blah. Uh, so. Let me see the rest of the story here. Yeah, it was his girlfriend. Uh, they, they, I heard him tell you, he was a nice guy. They, they were saying he was a nice guy. I think uh, I forget why he was, uh, why they were moving. I think they were moving back to uh, Texas from New Jersey. But uh, military, no, it wasn't military. He had, they had both found a better job. So. I wished them some good luck and uh, said about their business. It just don't pull up directly behind the, behind us. Good way, you know what I mean? Shit can go bad really fast and don't want that to happen. Next, I pulled over a, a SUV that was passing an 18-wheeler. It was doing 76 and a 60. Of course, like, like I said, I don't go into it. Every time I make my approach, I always try to do passenger side, like I said, uh, I'm still old school. It's just out of habit. I touch the tail light. Why? Just leaving my fingerprints on it just in case. Just just what we used to do back, way back in the day. Uh, and I still do it out of habit. You know, 
I, I walk up to and I, after I make my approach, feel like I'm stuff. I, I always, I'm not one of those uh, cops that goes up and says, "I need your driver's license and stuff." And then and people are like, "Well, why'd you pull me over? Why'd you pull me over?" I don't do that. Soon, I don't even. I'm not like some of them. It's like, oh, my name's Deputy So and So or Sergeant So and So with So and So Department. I don't do that. I have a a name on my, my on my uniform shirt and patches on my arm. If you are illiterate and can't read, it's not my problem. Uh, but I walk up and I told them, I'm like, oh, you, the reason I stopped you is you're doing 77 and 60. Straight off the bat, first thing out of my mouth. She tells me that uh, her speedometer said she was doing 65. So I'm like, oh, great, this is going to be one of those. I said, well, my laser said you were doing 77. I need your driver's license and insurance or registration, please. She gives it to me. I go back. I give her the same spiel. I give everybody else. I'm like, by signing this, it's not an admission of guilt. And all the states is either you're going to pay the citation fine or show up in court. It's your Troy. Uh, they have different instructions and options on the bottom of the citation in bold print. Every single time. Same exact thing. Uh, she says, well, I just lost my nephew today and start slapping the console very aggressively. I'm like, fuck, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, oh, fuck, here I go. Uh, and she's coming back from a funeral. Uh, I hope she changed, and that's not what she wore up there because uh, she was not dressed uh, appropriately for her funeral. Maybe, uh, Waitress at a strip club, but not a funeral. I tell her to sign it with your finger in the white area. Uh, she tried to pull me into an argument. Started getting loud, boisterous, and stuff like that. Uh, wasn't in the mood. and uh, Wasn't going to let her pull me out there. I knew what she was trying to do. I just looked at her again. I said, you either sign a citation or you go to jail. That's the only two options. She signed it, <laughs> printed it out, gave her a thing. Have a nice day. Y'all know what I mean when I say have a nice day to a driver. She pulled off extremely pissed off. Uh, just, I mean, I don't know. Why, do you, do people think we just make speeds up in my head? I use a LiDAR out there, so I know exactly which vehicle I'm locking on to. I even changed mine and my options to the square, to the, the aim point dot, so there's no question. I'm, I know which exactly vehicle I'm on. I just did. I'm sitting on his shoulder, and uh, I dropped. I forget what I had in my hand. I was doing something. I dropped it. It falls. Hits my siren button. I mean, if I just hit my siren button in my unit, it automatically evac he activates my lights and stuff. So I'm sitting there on the shoulder, and whatever I, I forget what I dropped. I dropped it and hit the button. And of course, it sets the siren off and the lights and all that stuff. And, and all of a sudden, you know, you see this brake lights everywhere. I'm like. Oh shit, it's like the interstate by me was shutting down. I'm like, let me turn this off because I feel really stupid right about now. <laughs> so, so, yeah, that happened to you. I felt like a, a little dumb, but like, like I said, that shit happens. I'm going to give a, just a couple. I'm not going to read all these ones I've been writing down. Uh, I can tell you this story. Oh. Uh, I pull it. I pull this younger girl over. She's in her twenty. She's an LSU student. Very, very pretty. Very pretty girl. And I, I go go up, tell her I pulled her over. I think it was like I don't know, seventy five or sixty something like that. It wasn't super fast. And she's uh, I'm getting her driver's license stuff from her. And she's, she's like, well, I know, uh, I, I, I know Miami. Well, this is the actual. I didn't give this guy's name. This is just this. Other off this other deputy's nickname because he's originally from Miami. Uh, 
I should have said Dallas, but <laughs> something like that. But no, but he's from Miami. So she said, I know Miami. Uh, and then she says his name. Like I'm like, yeah, I know. Who I know him. So I'm like, well, what, you like his girlfriend or something? Like I said, just a very, very beautiful girl. Uh, I said, you're his girlfriend or something? Well, we're just kind of like really close friends right now. He, he hasn't really committed to, you know, me in a relationship. I was like, mm. She tried calling him a few times. He was out on a uh, suicide, uh, so he couldn't answer his phone. And, uh, I said, well, I said, he needs to go ahead and lock you down. I said, as pretty as you are, somebody going to snatch you up. Of course, she goes, oh, thank you so much. You buying if I uh, videotape you saying that? Motherfucker, I don't care. Go ahead. So she turned her camera on and let's say it again, you know. Of course, I, I let her go to ward warning. Uh, I go about doing my stuff, and uh, later on, Miami was out working too. He uh, comes and meets me up in my little spot. I'll uh, excuse me, little spot. I'll uh, go sit in and take a break or whatever. She so rolls up, we talking, and uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is, my. Little fat boy here, but uh, she uh, she had asked him that if I was married because her mom would would uh, would like to go out with me, and she's like, he's like, you didn't notice that big wedding ring on his finger? Yeah, yeah that would indicate that he's married. <laughs> Just thought I was a little flattered from it, of course, because I said, uh, I said, uh, so well, what does the mama look like? Not that I'm going to do anything, just curious. She's like, just on, uh, she looks like a little bit older version of her daughter. I said, oh, then she must be very attractive. He's like, yes, she is. And I said, hmm. I said, well, you can tell you maybe future girlfriend that uh, she's lucky I'm married or she might be calling me daddy later. And I was like, oh, that didn't come out quite the way I wanted to come out, but you get the gist of it. <laughs> Wait, so, uh, I'll, I'll take the. Uh, compliment or flattery every now and then especially as I'm getting old and uh, fat of course I'm still dieting I uh, think I'd be losing some I know I've lost some but you, know, you think you just wake up skinny that's what you'd hope anyway it just don't work out like that it seems like it comes on a lot faster than it goes off but I thought that was uh, interesting you know, she was going to try to set me up with her mom you know? but no uh, I am happily married so thanks but no thanks but the compliment does make you feel good it feels good to have your ego stroked every now and then right uh i don't know a couple of weeks back when i did this i made the comment uh everybody should go out and just try to be nice to somebody you know stuff like that uh, did y'all do it did it work if you haven't or if you did just do it again let's just try to be nice to people uh like I said, I got some, I have some more stories. Let's see, we got 19 minutes. Uh, I'll give you one more, and then uh, we'll shut this one down for this evening. I'm tired. I got to finish doing dogs, people. Uh, anyway, this one was on the 26th of May, uh, and it just started out like it was going to be one of them days. I mean, like this first stop I made was uh, 76 and 60, uh you know, everything's normal. Uh, approach, you know, gaming and stuff. Uh, I go back and uh, to the thing that would to give him a, to give him to sign a ticket. And here we go. Here we go. I want to see your radar. Well, I don't know how all states are. I'm not claiming to be no expert in that. I'm not claiming, I don't know what how other states are. But in Louisiana, I don't have to show it to you. I don't have to. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Depends on how they ask. Because I've got you locked in. But first of all, I can show them a radar all day long. Because uh, I didn't use my radar on them. I used my LIDAR, which is a laser. He didn't actually see that. Which uh, reminds me of a story about uh, good buddy Coon. Uh, I don't know if I told it before. <laughs> May popped up in my head. He's, I think it's just been seven years since he passed away. This dude was freaking just an awesome guy. Cancer got him way too soon. Uh, 
But he, uh, he had, me and him were working together one day, you know. One of them, I want to see the radar people. It's like, you know, I want to see the radar people. The ones we got on the motorcycles, uh, we can clock you. I mean, if I got to hit a switch to lock it, very seldom do I lock my radar. I got, I'm on a motorcycle. I got enough shit I'm doing. Uh, and I don't have to. <laughs> and that day that uh, somebody that got, well, I want to see your radar, was the day we were running stationary and we were using a LIDAR. So he says, oh, you want to see a radar? He's like, yeah, I want to see your radar. He's like, okay, come here. So they get out, and they walk over to the motorcycle. He says, there there it is right there. He's like, we ain't even turned on. He's like, you didn't say which radar you wanted to see. You just said you wanted to see a radar. He's like, not a radar right there. And go sit back in your car. Of course, they were all pissed off now at that point. But uh, fucking old Coon, he was uh, he's a character. Uh He's uh, still sadly missed. Anyway, I, I looked down and said, uh, and I didn't shoot you with a radar, dude. I used the LIDAR. And I don't have to show it to you. Sign a ticket, come to court, and argue about it there. Because that's the only place now so we're going to argue about it. Because uh, just just not going to happen. There's people say, I want to say that radar. Or I love people that are always, people always say, you know, oh, well, I was only doing such and such. Uh, let me see if this makes sense to anybody listening. Because hopefully I feel like most of the people that listen to my podcast are not morons. And, you know, if y'all listen to me, you must be fucking geniuses. Uh, <laughs> so, when you, see, when you see me on the side of the road and realize, oh shit, that's a cop. The natural instinct of yourself is to look at your speed armor while at the same time is getting your foot off the gas. Even if you're not speeding, your foot's coming off the accelerator. So while you're looking at the speed armor, you had already let off the gas to slow down. You're showing a lower speed when you happen to look at it right there because you just noticed me. But I clocked you 600 feet away before you even knew I was sitting there. That's how that works. So... All right, well, we're going to have midweek news uh, Wednesday, like I said. And, uh, uh, the box won't be here. I talked to him today. Uh, he did hit box, had a good weekend. He got to see his little boy, and I'm, I'm happy about that. He's been having some issues with, with uh, seeing his child. He did get to spend a little, not as much as he would like, but he did get to spend some time with his son. Uh, so I know Holster will be, well, he'll be here, you know. I'm not sure if Freebird's got the meeting or not. I don't think he does. I think Freebird may be here unless something comes up. But it'll definitely be me and Old Star if anything else. Lot lots going on in the news. A lot of shit going on in the news. So uh y'all come back Wednesday, interact with us on the live show. It's um the only reason I do live is because it's fun and I like interacting with the the audience. So uh Till I get banned or kicked off from doing that, we'll keep doing the lives. Other than that, the audio will always be out. You know, if something happens, uh, if something happens to that, I get kicked off a platform like like that or something. You will have to go check it out on. Uh, I'll, I'll move it over to Rumble. I have, do have a few videos on there, but it's not. I don't utilize it a lot. But other than that, I just want everybody to stay safe. Uh, stay cool because it's hot as it's hot as hell outside, especially down here in the south. Uh, it's hot, 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 hot. I mean, I was just walking the dogs a while ago, and it was freaking, you know, almost ninety degrees outside. But uh, watch your back, watch your partner's back, and uh, remember to always smile because Ice Man could be behind you. <laughs>